Hey YouTube channel, how are you? This is Apple iOS Genius. Uh, today I'm going to go through and how to create templates in your Google account, or your Gmail account. Uh, some individuals are asking uh, in my school participation, uh, faculty and staff are trying to have a template design so they don't have to retype the email all the time and every time. Uh, so just like there are widgets for uh, Windows as well as for uh, similar to Mac as well, uh, there is actual a uh, feature or function or plugin per se in uh, Google Gmail that you can enable and then that allows you to um, create predefined templates. Now the templates is basically what you would create from scratch and then you would use that from that point forward. You know, so that's what that the case is. So let's go ahead and go forward and let me turn off my cell phone alarm here. So, in case you came across my video in a just a random look and so forth, uh, if you go to uh, YouTube.com, and then if you slow up Apple iOS Genius, uh, you can be able to find me under the iOS Genius. Or the other alternate way you can go to is go to the user, Apple iOS Genius, and you'll get to my videos and homepage and so forth. So, basically, I have a bunch of... Uh, tutorial videos for anything for school, for personal, for emails, and etc. Feel free to subscribe when you do have available if you enjoy my video. So we're just going to go ahead and move on. So we're just going to go to Gmail. And then these are my Gmail accounts. But the one I'm going to use here today will be the CICS. And this is basically my school email. Uh, I am the system administrator for a school. And uh, uh, I'm going to show you how to get this done. So, um, I'm actually logged into my Gmail. This is my school Gmail. I don't really ever use it because I have uh, another account that I use more. So, what you want to do is you want to go to the settings, which is listed right over here. And then you want to go ahead and select on settings, down to the below. And then in your settings feature and functionality, you want to actually go to the section called here, labs. And then here it basically says this, some crazy experimental stuff. Uh, but this is a testing ground, so they may or may not work, uh, uh, it, they may disappear, they may break, but so far I've been using them for uh, quite a while for other Gmail accounts and they have not had an issue or problem with it so far. So basically what you want to do is look for something called canned responses. So canned responses is basically email for truly lazy. So basically if you predefine a, a uh, template design and so forth, it's purely lazy because when you create a, a compose a new email you know how you have to normally have to type your whole signature well actually signature is completely separate from this but if you wanted to create like a, a newsletter of some type so this newsletter you want it to always be the same format but you probably want to change text from time to time or for certain seasons so for this you want to go ahead and enable uh, the responses once you enable it you want to hit save and right here in the bottom left gives it a few moments so it refreshes your account so now you have the option so basically what I want to do is um, at a bigger screen here uh, there's an email that I received for in school for our charter schools which is basically right here so these this charter school email as you can see this template is in Microsoft Outlook and so I want to copy this and I want to put this into uh, into a can response. So what you will need to do is go ahead and select on compose on the left hand side here Just a regular compose letter. Here's your signature if you did have one or you did put one in Google So I'm just going to erase that you don't technically have to erase your signature You can leave it as it is, but if you go down here by the trash can over here to the right You have something called more options So you want to select on more options and you select on can responses and then here it only says save or new so since you just since I just enable this and I don't have any pre-designed templates already, I would have to select a new can response. So once you do this, I would actually just give you and ask you what kind of title you want to give it. So I'll just call it the CICS um, vote because uh, that's what it is. So we want to go ahead hit OK. So now that portion is done. Now what you need to do is whatever you put in this area where I'm typing now will be your template. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and erase this. So what I want to do is uh, I want to copy this template and I want to move it in here. 
So technically what you can do if you wanted to and you can try is basically you select all this, copy, and then you paste it. Now you can see it copies everything entirely exactly as it is, but that doesn't always mean that your links here are going to be hyperlinkable, which here actually down to the bottom where it says link, go to link, and then it has the actual link that it goes to. So basically for an example, oops, that's actually right. Uh, for an example, you want to go ahead and select, so this Chicago International Charter School, when you select it, it should go to this page with the kid, which it does uh, by default. Then this one's here for say where school, you can select it, and it goes to this website as soon as it loads up. And the same thing for, so if I click this, so it's an interactive web link or template in your email. So if you want to send this out to uh, parents or family members or other school faculty people or anyone else out there that when you create a template, uh, it would actually be ready to go. So sometimes copying and pasting didn't work. Earlier today uh, or earlier yesterday, I tried this and I copied and pasted and it didn't come through because the images came up as uh, uh, no placeholder. So it basically was an image, but it was completely blank. Um, and so what we're going to do is actually, since it's already here created, let me close these links. Okay. So this is the site it has the information committed to greatness, everything exactly as it states here. So basically, um, in the can responses, this is a pre-designed template that I just created. So now what you want to do is you want to, it's right here. It says it's already saved, but you know, sometimes I go here. Uh, here and then you see where it says can responses and this is save CICS vote. You can actually, if you edit it, the actual template itself. So if you change the text or whatever else you changed and it's a, the actual same design kind of template, you can just select new can response and then call it something else. So it could be CICS uh, vote no or bills or whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to select CICS vote because I understand it's saved, but I always like to resave it just to make sure. So you're going to be prompted with this message that it will overwrite the save can response. Are you sure you want to proceed? And I'll say yes. So I'll hit continue uh, or continue as uh, okay. So now it's saved. So then now next time when you actually go into your uh, account, um, here is a, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sign out. And I'm just going to sign back in just so you see it actually saves the information. Oops, don't even know what my password is. Actually, my passwords are quite complex. So, all right. So now we want to go ahead and hit compose. Now, there's a blank email like any normal email. But then if you go to the bottom right, more options, you can actually do can responses and then whatever you have listed as you select it you want to select on the insert one right below and then as you see it will self-populate so there goes the information so now you can just send it to your uh, team members so my email actually uh, personal email is appleiosgenius.com and i'm just going to call this uh oops just completely change it okay so i'm going to call this uh test vote one just so you can see what it looks like and the outlook it'll look exactly like this so we're just going to go ahead and do that we're going to hit send um actually my email is actually up here which is completely separate this is a uh, an email that i purchased through godaddy or, or not email sorry uh, a domain that i purchased through godaddy uh yes you're going to see all my personal emails but you know i really don't have anything private here to have or anything so I hit inbox there it is Dan Fernandez uh, that's me I hit this and as you can see I scroll down the email so it's the exact same template as that I received from another user and uh, basically it shows over so there it is oops didn't mean to click it so there you go so I have the same exact template and so forth and I can use this over and over and over as much as I need to so this is basically how to create a template at your leisure in regards of how to do a template in Canon responses in your Google account and how to use it quite frequently 
then just to show you, I can click on the link. It actually takes me to the site. And if I click on another link down here, which I know where these links are, so that's why it goes to these other pages. So there you go. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If there's any other questions or comments in regards of canned um, responses or other features and functionality in Gmail, uh, feel free to subscribe uh, or put a comment down below and uh, you'll go ahead and obtain any updates, uh, any future videos that I will or do will do create. All right. All right. Thank you and have a good day.